The world is moving swiftly toward green energy, and hydrogen is emerging as a powerhouse of promise. As a cleaner alternative, it appears to be far more feasible than other zero-emission options. While it might not be as popular as batteries, hydrogen is making waves, especially in its lesser-known form used by internal combustion engines. Now, let's dive into the game-changer, JCB's hydrogen engine. This could be the breakthrough that revolutionizes the EV industry. But before we get into the nitty-gritty, remember to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update on cutting-edge tech innovations. JCB's Hydrogen Engine – The Future of Heavy Machinery Hold on to your hats, because JCB has recently rolled out a hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine. This marvel offers a zero-emission alternative to both battery electric vehicles and fuel cells, specifically tailored for heavy-duty machinery like excavators and backhoe loaders. JCB, a British heavy equipment giant, knows firsthand the challenges of electrifying these colossal machines. Here's the kicker. JCB isn't a stranger to electric and fuel cell technologies. They've got a lineup of such devices up and running. However, they believe hydrogen engines could be the perfect bridge, marrying the familiarity of combustion technology with the benefits of simplicity and cost-effectiveness. Hydrogen technology, almost ready for prime time. In a fascinating episode of Harry's Garage, JCB unveiled that their hydrogen technology is nearly production ready and set to become the standard for heavy machinery. The need to innovate was driven by the necessity to reduce emissions without compromising on power or affordability. Lord Bamford, JCB's chairman, highlighted the stark differences in usage between passenger cars and heavy-duty machinery. While passenger cars run about 300 hours a year, a standard backhoe loader clocks nearly 3,000 hours annually. Tackling the Heavy Machinery Challenge In countries like India, heavy machinery operates for a staggering 5,000 hours each year. Powering these machines with batteries alone would require an impractical number of batteries, adding complexity and weight, and driving up costs. This challenge pushed JCB's engineers to think outside the box, leading to the groundbreaking development of their hydrogen engine. Currently, JCB's machines run on diesel, but with significant modifications, their engineers have managed to run these engines on hydrogen fuel. The result? Tailpipe emissions that consist solely of steam, with no CO2. JCB's hydrogen engine isn't just a leap forward. It's a potential revolution for the heavy machinery industry, combining zero emissions with the power and efficiency these massive machines require. Stay tuned, as this technology could soon redefine what's possible in green energy for heavy equipment. In addition, JCB asserts that their prototype backhoe loader powered by this innovative hydrogen motor can perform all of the same tasks as its diesel-powered counterpart. The hydrogen engine JCB started with the bottom half of the existing diesel max type. The sump as well as the cylinder block and the cooling system are identical to those found on the diesel-powered variant. In addition, the hydrogen engine still utilizes a conventional variable geometry turbo. The engine, however, is significantly different when viewed from the top. Both the cylinder head and the injection mechanism have been updated so that hydrogen gas can now be injected into the engine rather than diesel. Similarly, the diesel fuel tank has been removed and replaced with five storage vessels for hydrogen gas, each one weighing one kilogram and composed of aluminum and carbon fiber. Not only does the configuration continue to use already familiar components, but the amount of time required to refill with hydrogen is comparable to that of any conventional fuel. In addition to this, there is only a small rise in the cost of ownership and maintenance. Why don't we use hydrogen? Why don't we currently use hydrogen engines? A variety of factors contribute to the rarity of hydrogen engines compared to their counterparts that run on diesel or gasoline. In addition, the cost of hydrogen is high, and it's not yet considered a clean fuel. However, several electrolyzers designed for industrial use are currently being produced in different parts of the world. Even economically developed nations like the United States and India 
are investing significantly in environmentally friendly hydrogen policies. Therefore, it's only a matter of time before hydrogen becomes less polluting and more accessible financially. The emission of nitrogen oxides, often known as NOx, is a drawback associated with using a hydrogen ice. The cause for this is the high temperatures reached in operation. On the other hand, engineers at JCB came up with a cunning solution to get around this problem by operating the engine on a fuel mixture that was too lean. Compared to its diesel counterpart, the energy density of hydrogen for a given mass is three times higher. Because of this, the team could attain the same values for torque without running the engine excessively. Selective catalytic reduction is another method for getting rid of NOx, a technique frequently used in modern diesel engines. There's no denying the viability of hydrogen-powered motors. It's only a matter of developing the necessary infrastructure, proving its durability, and gaining acceptance in the mass market. The European trucking industry is investigating hydrogen as a potential alternative to battery electric vehicles. Additionally, a large number of fueling stations are going to be opening in Germany and France. The wait and recharging times of electric trucks are quite inconvenient, and the typical truck driver cannot afford them, and it's difficult or nearly impossible to perform maintenance on them. However, the hydrogen solution offered by JCB is coming to the rescue. But let's not get ahead of ourselves and declare hydrogen engine vehicles to be the future of transportation just yet. Some factors like driving patterns, location, and infrastructure come into play when considering the implementation of hydrogen vehicles. However, because hydrogen is readily available in large quantities, it appears to be a viable option for electric vehicles, which we must not ignore. JCB's investigation into alternative power sources began with a focus on hydrogen fuel cells. However, the company soon discovered that these cells could not provide the immediate high power required for construction machinery. Instead, the company looked into the possibility of using hydrogen as fuel in combustion engines that were otherwise standard. It's a theory that has also been investigated by other businesses, such as Toyota which even considered implementing the technology in its racing program. The engine for the JCB is now undergoing testing. It is targeted to begin production by the end of 2023, which will be used in its agricultural and construction vehicles. Meanwhile, even though burning hydrogen produces less pollution than burning fossil fuels, the technology still struggles to gain widespread acceptance. Challenges there's currently no functional distribution network for hydrogen, either in the form of pipelines or filling stations for individual customers. JCB has designed and built its own mobile fueling vehicle to meet this need. Because fuel is typically brought to machines rather than the other way around, this is an ideal solution for those who work in agriculture and construction. The generation of hydrogen still presents another challenge. It is possible to create it in an environmentally friendly way by splitting water into hydrogen through renewable electricity, which results in what is known as green hydrogen. However, a significant portion of the hydrogen available on the market today is manufactured chemically from natural gas. This process results in a discharge of hazardous carbon emissions and the creation of gray hydrogen. Looking ahead, in general, if the world is going to reach a point where there are no net carbon emissions, almost every machine that burns fossil fuels will need to be changed over to a more environmentally friendly energy source. JCB's study over the past few years has been pursuing exactly that goal, and it's worthy of recognition. However, it's abundantly evident that other challenges need to be conquered before completely transforming agricultural machines to being environmentally friendly. Battery electric engines are not a viable alternative for machines that do laborious tasks for extended periods. In situations like these, the combustion of hydrogen might be an option. JCB is living up to their half of the bargain, but to solve the problem, the hydrogen supply needs to catch up. Do you think this technology will overthrow battery electric vehicles? Please let us know what you think in the comment section below. That's all for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.